this. I was brought up in a religious environment, Christian environment, and uh, from a very early age, I would say I had little to no desire to be involved in anything Christian. Um, I saw it as pretty much a crutch for people to feel good about themselves, to feel like they were better than other people or to feel like they had some sort of hope of where they were going to go after they died. And I think I decided very early on that uh, it wasn't something that I was even interested in. Um, as I began to get a little bit older into my early teenage years, um, the desire really was to please myself, to do what I wanted to do. And of course, that didn't mix at all with religion or God. Um, towards my end of my teenage years, um, I had a lot of trouble and um, strained relationship with my parents. Uh, I decided that I felt like as my life was about to head off into leaving my house and starting my life that I wanted to understand if there was a God um, and if, if there was, then what was I supposed to do? And that's what really drove me to the Bible. And looking into God's Word, um, the thing that really made an impact on me was my entire life I had figured that I was a pretty good guy. Um, and therefore I didn't need God or religion. But it wasn't until I looked into what's called the law, God's law, the Ten Commandments, um, that I fully understood that I wasn't a good person. Um, I had thought I was a good person, a good guy, because I was comparing myself to other people. Um, if you compare yourself to other people, you certainly can make yourself out to be good. But when you compare yourself to God's law, the ultimate standard, um, you don't do very well. I mean, going through them real quick. You shouldn't lie. Have you ever lied? Don't steal. Have you ever taken anything in your entire life regardless of value? Um, what really got me was how God's gonna judge me not just on what I physically do with my body, but just on the, the thoughts of my mind and desires of my heart. Uh, Jesus says in Matthew chapter five, to look with lust is to commit adultery. And who hasn't done that? or to hate somebody is equal with murder. And looking into that mirror, it showed me who I really was and showed me that I was in trouble. Now, the Bible says that God has appointed a day when he will judge this world. And that's the standard by which I'm going to be judged. Um, I realized that I was in trouble. And if I was to be judged according to that standard, it says really clearly in Revelation 21, 9, all liars, thieves, adulterers, all those sins, basically, those people will be in the lake of fire, which burns. And that scared me. Um, and it helped me to realize that I deserved it. It wasn't just this wrathful, angry God who was throwing me in hell because he felt like it. <clears throat> he had set out the standard and I had broken every single one of them. Now, my entire life growing up, people had told me about Jesus about how great Jesus was, about how loving him and having a relationship with him and serving him was this wonderful, great thing. And again, I go back to that feeling of, I didn't need that. I didn't need it because I didn't know I was in trouble. Um, it wasn't until I was in those later teenage years and looked into the law and realized how incredibly guilty I was and how I was in trouble with God. And when I met him on the day of judgment, he was going to rightfully and just, I mean, totally justifiably throw me in hell for all eternity. And that weighed on me that, not just that I was a bad person, but that I had broken a righteous God who loved me and created me, I had broken all his laws. And for the first time in my life, Jesus, who I'd heard about a million times before, made sense. Because Jesus is the way by which God created a path for us to be made right with him. Jesus Christ was God, he was sent to this world, and he died on the cross, he was punished. The Bible says that he was bruised for our iniquities and that it pleased God to crush him. And he did that for us. He, he was the substitute. Um, we did the crime, but Jesus, he paid the fine. And if we are, the Bible talks about the idea of understanding your sin and then repentance. And repentance is so important because it's a desire 
to want to turn away from your sin. Now, you can't turn away from your sin. You may be in some kind of sin right now and think, there's no way, I can't turn away from it. And you're right, you can't. But once you have a relationship with God, He can help you to turn away from that sin. And that's what repentance is, this desire to want to turn away from your sin, to change your mind about your sin, and to have faith, to believe that nothing you do can make yourself right with God. Because you're a lawbreaker. I was a lawbreaker. I can't, lawbreakers can't undo the fact that they broke the law. But you can put your confidence, your faith, your trust totally um, and independently of anything else on Jesus Christ and trust Him that what He did on the cross by dying, suffering, and then raising again was sufficient to make us right with God. And I did that um, when I was almost 17 years old. My life from that point forward was radically and totally transformed. Um, I got married a few years after that, and I can tell you that through my entire adult life, there has been great trials, um, and, and God has been completely and totally sufficient. Um, he has grown me uh, in holiness every single year of my life. I can look back and I can see how I'm doing things that I would have told you back then in those days were never even possible. And the only way they're possible is because I have a relationship with God. Um, before, if you had told me not to lie, I would have said, well, I like to lie. But once I had a relationship with God and I love Him and He teaches me not to lie, I want to please the God that saved me and changed me. And if you're out there and you're looking for answers, I would challenge you with an open heart and an open mind. Look into the Bible. Um, read about the law. Go to the Gospels. Read about what Jesus Christ did for you. And I promise you, if you put your confidence, your trust in Jesus Christ, your life will never be the same.